Hi everyone, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a brief uh, lesson on something called standard form. All right, so on the first page of your notes, I want you to listen carefully and, and follow along with me. And then there'll be a few problems for you to try on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so, so far you've learned um, about slope intercept form. Remember the y equals mx plus b? Well, standard form is another way of writing um, equations, okay? And there's a couple things that stand out about standard form, and I want you to write these down. Number one, there can be no fractions in standard form. Number two, there can be no decimals. All right, and last but not least, this A value right here was attached to the X has to be positive. All right, so the A value has to be positive, and in, inside of the whole equation, there can't be any fractions or decimals, okay? So right here is an example of an equation that's written in standard form, where it's 3X plus 4Y equals 5. So in this case, the A value is 3, the B value is 4, and the C value is 5. And notice there's no fractions or decimals at all inside um, the equation. All right. So now they know about standard form, there's going to be times when you're going to need to transform an equation from slope-intercept form to standard form. All right. So this equation right now is written in y equals mx plus b format, right? Where this is the y-intercept and this is the slope. But we now want it in AX plus BY equals C format. So to do that, I'm going to add 3X to both sides. So now we have 3X plus Y equals 5. And now it's written in standard form, where the A value is 3, the B value would be a 1, and then the C value is a five. All right, the last example, we have a, an equation already written in standard form, but now we need to write it in slope intercept form. All right, so now we wanna transform the equation so it's written in our y equals mx plus b format. All right, so remember, we need to get this y by itself, right? So I'm gonna first take away two x from both sides. And when I do that, I now have 4y equals negative 2x plus 8. All right. And then lastly, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And when I do that, I now get y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. And there it is. All right, so this equation written in slope-intercept form, remember, is the exact same equation as 2x plus 4y equals 8, but this original one right here is written in standard form. So what I want you to do, I want you to try the problems on the next page, and when you're done, um, continue watching the video, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you do with these problems. Okay, so for these, you had to write each equation in standard form. So remember, that means AX plus BY equals C format, right? That's an X right, right there. All right, so the first equation, we have Y equals negative 2X plus 6. Now, this one is written in slope-intercept form, but to, to convert it into standard form, I'm going to add 2X to both sides. So now we have 2x plus y equals 6. And there's the first one. All right. Number two, we have negative 2x equals 4y plus 9. All right. Now, this time, I'm going to uh, take away 4y from both sides. All 
So now we have negative 2x minus 4y equals 9. But remember, the a value, in this case the negative 2, it can't be a negative. So the way you get around this is you, you take the whole equation and you multiply the whole thing by negative 1. Okay? As long as you do that to both sides of the equation, it's still equivalent and it's, still, it's fine. All right? So negative 1 times negative 2x gives us a 2x. Negative 1 times a negative 4y gives us a positive 4y. And then negative 1 times 9 gives us a negative 9. So there's the equation written in standard form. All right, number 3, we have 10x plus 12y plus 8 equals 0. All right, this one, all, all we have to do is just take away 8 from both sides. And we'll get 10x plus 12y equals negative 8. And the last one, we have 6y minus 12 equals 5x. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take away 6y from both sides. And when I do that, I now have negative 12 equals 5x minus 6y. And that's now written in standard form. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?